Hello, everyone. I'm Zhao Chuang. Today, we're going to draw a platypus. The platypus is an ancient distinctive animal living in Australia. Such primitive mammals are uncommon nowadays, and there are only two species of them in Australia including the platypus. One of the primitive monotremes is the platypus, and the other is the short-beaked echidna. One typical feature of these two animals is that they lay eggs, unlike the other mammals, that are generally viviparous animals. The platypus has a bill like a duck. At the front end of its bill, there are two small nostrils, which look very cute. Another primitive feature of the platypus is that all of its four feet are webbed in order to swim. A third primitive feature is that there is a spur on its hind feet that delivers venom. In the age of dinosaurs, for example, animals such as Arboroharamia had such a spur. It has a flat tail. Although there is hair on its body, it has a streamlined shape like a beaver. When drawing the platypus, we need to pay attention to the proportion. It is easy to draw the platypus, because its body looks complete, and there are not many curves and structures. We just need to pay attention to the proportion. Its head is about one-third or one-fourth of the whole body, and this is about the size of its tail. Its body is long and oblate. Now let's draw the platypus. Let's start with its mouth by drawing a U-shape. Then we draw the part connecting the back of its mouth and its face, which looks like steps. Its small nostrils are near the front of its mouth. Moving backward, we draw its eyes, which look like two small black beans. Behind its eyes, let's draw its two small ears. Because the platypus is an aquatic animal, its ears have become very small. Let's then draw its body. We start with its face. Its body is as flat and long as a piece of chewing sweet. Let's draw its tail backward. When it swims, its flat tail will flex up and down to propel it forward. After drawing the tail, let's use fine brushwork to draw some hair which is smooth. When we draw its hair, Try to draw it along the edge of the lower part of its body, so that it will look more third-dimensional. Next, let's draw its forelimbs and hind limbs. Let's first draw the outline of them. These are its hands, and these are its feet with the webbing. Above its webbing are its nails. Let's draw its hind feet with nails and toes. Its webbing is below its toes and claws. After that, we draw its forepaws. Its forepaws and hind paws each have five toes. Let's draw some folds on the webbing between these toes. Good, like this, we've done with this platypus.